How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. Uh, well, we spent a few days here in uh, Montana. Baby was born on uh, Sunday. Little boy. Trig and 8 pounds 6 ounces. Trig is home. Yeah. He's hungry. Here's mom. Hi. Home. Home. I know. Time for the, the fun to begin. Oh, he's out again. <laughs> well, everybody's doing good now. It's now Friday morning. We're heading home. And uh, cold. It snowed a little bit here last night. Uh, got a long 19-hour uh, driving time. Probably make it two days. And we'll be seeing you. So on our way up. Up here to Montana, uh, well, we, in Billings, on our drive up, we uh, stopped in Billings, had dinner with Matt Torno and Brian Wookie, who live about a mile apart, actually, kind of funny, in uh, Billings. Had a great little dinner with them, and uh, I got a picture uh, with them. A fun time there. I hand delivered uh, scribes to them both, so they're pretty happy about that. And then we headed on uh, up here to Great Falls. A little machining, another part of the scribe build, uh, a little more turret action, and a few different tool setups. So we'll get that going. Uh, thanks a lot, you guys. Thanks for visiting the shop and uh, subscribing. We'll be seeing you back in warmer climates. This setup on the turret, it's only two operations on the turret. This is what we're going to make. It's here, right there. Well, finish making, I should say. We're just we're just working on this end of it. We've already done this end and the threads. Now we're working on this end. So we're cutting this to diameter, putting a small radius on the end, and those four little grooves. Plus color. So the first tool we have here is just a turning tool, right hand turning tool, pretty basic, uh, pretty good size radius on there to uh, make a real nice finish. Then we're going to come around and this tool here is the radius for the for the end. Now I made this tool holder just for this. I mean it could be used for anything but it's a 5 16 tool holder and uh, it's working very well so we're just going to come around and do a little radius on the end. Pretty simple. Those two operations and then we also have then on the uh, dual tool post setup we have just one operation over here. We have a large high-speed steel tool bit in here that I've ground so I can put in the four tiny grooves they're only about 15 thousandths wide and 20 to 30 thousandths deep or so all at once and uh, we'll, we'll, I'm going to show you how I made that uh, also so you'll, you'll be seeing that here's our blank this end's been turned, threaded and the hole in the end. Now we're going to be turning this end and the grooves and the radius. Piece goes in the collet. First I gotta get rid of that nub on the end. That kind of screws up my length if I don't. So I just file that off real quick. Turn it down. It's taken off a thousandth even on that spring cut there. Uh, there's no support on it, so. We'll come over here, we 
put our four grooves in and then we come in and radius it. We get it in position for the next one. And I do a little uh, little detail work on each one uh, just to make the ends the way I want them, kind of thing. Uh, cleans up that point real nice and a little custom touch to it. Then we just take some worn out emery. I just there's a little bit of ridge on those grooves. Polish up, wipe it off. A little blue sharpie for the, the color in the grooves. A little heat. And we hit it a couple times with a all blue sharpie. Light on the little worn out emery again. Then flip your emery over and use the back side, canvas side, give it a little more polish. Finished part. This is all done now. We'll glue it and we'll end up gluing the carbide in.